Hey YouTube, this is Nolo Spencer. I'm going to show you how to use Android Wi-Fi Tether on the Motorola Droid X if you ever rooted. So using Android Wi-Fi Tether is a lot easier than actually using Verizon's built-in 3G mobile hotspot service, which charges $20 extra per month. So rather than doing that, you can just root your Droid X, which is about a 10-minute procedure after installing all the apps on um, your Windows PC, or I have a Mac, so I just boot it into Windows XP on it and the procedure goes by pretty quickly so I'll show you how to get Android Wi-Fi Tether first you can get it straight on your Droid X itself if you have an SD card already installed and also if your Droid is already rooted then you're set to go it should not take more than five minutes to get it up or running so you go to browser and then in Google what you do is you would search for Android Wi-Fi Tether So I searched Android Wi-Fi Tether, and then the first result should be their website. Just click. You can click their website, or you can click download. So after you click downloads, just wait for it to load, and then here is all their builds that they released. So this is the latest build, which was uploaded five hours ago, which I just installed. It's a pre. It's a pre-release to 2.0.5. So you click this. and then you would click this here and this will download it and then you go and you check your downloads by clicking more and downloads and then go to the bottom and you'll see Android Wi-Fi Tether right there or wireless tether you'd click it and then open it with an app installer so yeah I already installed it so I don't need to do that and if you don't have an app installed you can go to the market and search apps installer and then you'll actually find a few installers that can easily install apps um, this is the one I have installed right here and this is a really great one actually it's really fast <coughs> so okay I have wireless tether installed now let's get to use of it so this is a 3G mobile hotspot service that Verizon has built in. It allows you to hook up to five devices on an infrastructure network that it creates. But you just click this, it will take about 10 seconds to enable, then you got to start it up. This is a wireless tether app. It allows more customization of security settings and your password and your, but not your SSID. So you can also set the frequency channel from 1 to 14. Channel slash frequency and you can also enable Bluetooth PAN but I don't know if you guys know but on this Droid X it comes built in with Bluetooth personal area network which does not require you to root or anything just out of the box you can share your internet connection I don't know if Verizon or Motorola know about that I'm pretty sure Motorola does but it's a pretty awesome feature that's built into the device so also you can set the Wi-Fi encryption method and then also set your passcode by typing in a 13 character passcode which is this is the default password which I have set because I can't think of a 13 letter passcode so that's set up so now why don't we enable wireless tether so what we do is I just click that it takes a few seconds to enable and then I would check my computer here and go to airport settings scans and sure enough there is Wi-Fi tether right there and then once I click it, it should be dis it should be connected since I've connected before. Then click enter on my keyboard, load it in Google Chrome. And there's Google. So it works fine, it works off of Ryzen's 3G signal on this device here and this is this is the amount of data that goes through the amount of data downloaded in kilobytes the amount of data uploaded in kilobytes then also data throughput in the bottom for the speed that it's been transferring so it's just as fast as Verizon's 3G mobile hotspot service that they have um, which uses the 3G connection obviously this also does use the 3G connection on the Droid X and it's quite fast I've got speed tests up to 2 megabits per second on this device 
and one megabits per second upload which is actually very fast for a mobile network so that's wireless tether on the droid x it allows you to do a lot more on the device and hopefully you can use it on your computer because it will definitely come in handy a lot so yeah if you have any other questions about rooting your droid x installing wireless tether or in the dro or just about the droid x in general just let me know by posting a comment a video response and definitely subscribe because the more subscribers I get the more you'll view my informative videos at least I hope they're informative please let me know if they are and definitely rate this video good and click like or dislike if you disliked it doesn't matter your opinion and yeah it's wireless tether under droid x and hopefully you can get it installed and working perfectly fine this is Nolo Spencer and see you later